April 26, 1986, a Soviet nuclear reactor at the Chernobyl power station exploded and caught fire, causing the worst nuclear accident in world history. The Ukrainian reactor discharged deadly amounts of radiation into the atmosphere, and the released radioactive particles were carried thousands of miles over the surrounding area. In Scandinavia, the increased radiation was detected and caused the European community to question the Soviets as to whether they had had a nuclear accident. The Soviet Union waited three days before admitting to the world that anything had gone wrong. Reactor number four at Chernobyl had overheated during a systems check. The compromised cooling system caused an explosion that cracked the reaction chamber. When the reaction went out of control, a fire started and radioactive particles escaped directly into the air. What made the accident even more dangerous to the surrounding area was that the reactor was not shielded by any type of additional containment barrier. Well, this is a light water reactor, and if the thing gets very, very hot indeed, in other words, if some of this light water cooling has failed, then what happens, the actual fuel, we saw a little diagram earlier on, the fuel can get so hot, it actually, the water goes to steam, and then we get a sort of fire, a reaction between the fuel and the steam. Because of the radiation and the extreme temperatures, the fire had to be fought from a distance. To battle the fire, Soviet helicopters were used to drop sand and boron onto the molten reactor. Many of the helicopter pilots risked their lives and later died from exposure to the radiation. Nine days after the accident, Moscow party chief Boris Yeltsin was the first to share any real facts about Chernobyl. Two days later, the Soviet government told a little more about the disaster at a press conference. But even with their new openness, very few details were given and questions were pre-screened. Even Soviet leader Gorbachev seemed more interested in preparing for the upcoming May Day parade than dealing with the emergency. He and the other party officials blamed a few Chernobyl bureaucrats for not dealing with the problems more quickly. Even Pravda, the Communist Party paper, followed Gorbachev's lead. Some leaders turned out to be psychologically unprepared for work in the conditions caused by the accident in the atomic power station. A Russian television commentator appeared on Western TV to talk about the disaster. He said very little and again placed the blame for the worst nuclear disaster in history on a few local officials. We have admitted that the local authorities did, putting it roughly, goof. You see, they didn't quite ex uh, assess the scale of the accident and it, because of the way they acted this whole thing happened but on the third day everything was told to the world and we we received mr bix uh, the director general of the international atomic agency atomic energy agency and all the data was given him and we said we would cooperate to the full with him we're not trying to hide anything from the world or from the international organizations it took two weeks for soviet leader gorbachev to make an official statement about the disaster the accident on April 26, 1986 at Chernobyl demonstrated three things to the world. The use of nuclear power carries with it a great responsibility and obligation to share the truth with other nations. The lasting environmental impact of nuclear power needs to be better understood. And finally, that even with glasnost and perestroika, the Soviet Union still had a long way to go when it came to being forthright with the truth.